I'm Dr. Orly Abitzer, Editor-in-Chief of Neurology Now, the American Academy of Neurology Patient Magazine. And I'm here with Dr. Jeffrey McLean, who's an expert in neuromuscular disease. Thank you for coming. Oh, of course. Glad to be here. Tell us a little bit about your background. How did you become a neuromuscular disease expert, and where do you currently work? Well, uh, my, I started out with my general neurology training, uh, which I did at Wilford Hall Medical Center in San Antonio. And from there, I did a fellowship in neuromuscular medicine at Harvard University at, before returning to where I am now, back in San Antonio at San Antonio Military Medical Center. And what's your typical day like? What kinds of patients do you see? I, I see a fairly broad mix of patients, uh, but when I'm doing specifically neuromuscular medicine, I do a lot of procedures, uh, electromyography, which is a procedure that we use to help diagnose neuromuscular diseases. The type of patients we see range from patients with neuropathies um, to patients with muscle diseases so that we call myopathies, to patients with disorders of the connection between the nerves and the muscles, neuromuscular junction disorders such as myasthenia gravis, um, to problems with the motor neurons such as ALS or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. So a variety of very common diseases and some that are more rare and, and very uh, have very serious prognoses. Exactly. That's right. And uh, what is the most exciting new development in your field? Which of those conditions have something new to offer patients who are listening? I think perhaps the most exciting field where we've seen a lot of attention recently is, has been ALS, especially with the ice bucket challenge recently that mm -hmm. garnered so much public attention, so much public excitement. That excitement has transferred into more attention, more funding for more research, things that are looking at improving our understanding of the genetics that play into ALS, where there's a lot of work being done trying to find biomarkers, so things that can be tested easily to more readily diagnose ALS and understand how it progresses in a particular patient. All these things ultimately help us find and uh, research uh, possible treatments that in the end are, are hopefully will lead us to things that will really benefit patients. And up until now, there really has not been a great deal to offer an ALS patient. What, what do you do today? The, right now, what we're focused on is improving the quality of life while people are dealing with this disease. And that's an important thing for both patients and physicians to understand that while we don't have a cure, there are many things that can be done to significantly improve the quality of life for our patients. So things like help with communication because many of the patients lose the ability to control their voice and control their speaking. So we can do things to help them communicate as that occurs. Things uh, like assistance with nutrition because they have difficulty swallowing and eating. So helping them with that. One of the big and often under-recognized problems with ALS are mood problems that go along with it. Um, obviously it's a devastating diagnosis and um, the social support is very important that we offer that to our patients to make sure that their, uh, again, their quality of life is, is as high as possible while dealing with this. And on the other end of the spectrum, we have uh, neuropathies for which we can offer a whole variety of treatments. Is right. there anything new or exciting for the patient with diabetes or someone else with, with neuropathy to consider? Well, again, there, there's a lot of new research going on. There's a, a lot of exciting um, work in terms of trying to find ways to treat the, the pain, often painful diabetic neuropathies. There are already some drugs currently available that many patients will be familiar with. And as time goes forward, we hope to increase the number of drugs that are available to make them more effective with fewer side effects. So hopefully that will be very soon on the horizon. Wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing all that new information sure. with us. I'm glad to be here.